Okay, so I'm going to let you guys know what's been going on with me for the last past, I want to say, two days. Um, yesterday, I went to work, and um, it was feeling great. You know, I got to work on time, a little earlier than on time. I started work at 5, but I got to work yesterday, like, at 4.30. Something okay, cool, you know, I'm going to start work right away. And when I start work right away, I was finished before 7 o'clock. I did little knickknacks and paddywhacks. After 7 o'clock, I forgot to unlock the boys and girls restroom, but that was no biggie. Did that, and after that, pretty much sat down all day until they needed me after lunch. And then, I, um, but before that, that morning, I started itching on my legs. I pulled up my pants leg, and I noticed that I had some bumps that was going around in a circle. They looked like big red bumps that was kind of flat, but... It was more like kind of big, but then it was inflamed. When I touched it, it was super hot, so that means it was inflamed. So I'm thinking I showed my sister and my mom on a video chat, and they were like, yeah, um, you probably got bit or whatever like that. But then I noticed that I was itching on my other leg, and the same thing, same bumps. Long story short, I broke out in hives, and I had hives all day yesterday. And after work yesterday, I went to the store, got me some Benadryl, took that, Took a shot of tequila and knocked out. And then this morning, it got worse. And I had... Uh, I've been scratching. You know, I took a nice shower. I've been scratching. And I broke out in hives even more all over my arms and legs. And it's on my back. It's on the back of my neck. You can see... Well, you can't really see it, but it was on my face. But little, little welts was all over my face. On my neck. Under here. And it's still right here. When I looked in my shirt... I can see red marks on top of my breast area. And it's in the back, like my back shoulder area, which itched so bad. It's my The bottom of my feet was itching. The top of my feet was itching. In between my fingers, toes, all that. Um, the only place it was not irritated was, you know, my private areas, which was great. <laughs> but everywhere else, even on top of my head, it's just itching. I had to stop braiding my hair for a while because I couldn't take the itching. And um, I did take a little something so I can be able to deal with it and possibly sleep tonight. I'm still up, as you can see. And it's um, about 9.07 at night. So if this continues, I may have to take off work again tomorrow. But my sister is coming to bring me some medicine for it. I did speak with an advice nurse. And he was telling me that to make sure I drink plenty of water to flush out all of this stuff. That may be causing these hives and stuff to stay. He also told me to make sure that I avoid being around the food allergy that I'm allergic to. For some of you who don't know, another fact about me is I am allergic to zucchini and squash. Can't have it. Can't even have what's around it. If there's a salad I with squash or zucchini in it, can't have the salad. Can't even pick out the zucchini. Nope. Can't touch any food that touches squash or zucchini. I may have to leave pumpkin alone. Like if there's some pumpkin pie made from scratch or something. Can't have that. Can't have pumpkin seeds. I'm just leaving it all alone. Um, it's a horrible feeling. I told my mom and my sis sister this morning. I'd rather have bad cramps with no medicine. Than to deal with itching everywhere at the same time. And once you scratch. It itches more. And it itches more. And it itches more. So yesterday I did take the Benadryl. But that was it. Today, I took some night quill. It was some... Let me see if I can take it. These are actually some day quill pills, um, but it didn't really do much um, because I was still itching and the the highest was still spreading. So, um, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water. I am back to drinking water out of my favorite little thermos thing that I got from 99 Cent Store before they shut that down, which they should have shut down the Dollar Tree, but whatever. Do your thing, kid. Whatever. Um... Only because the 99 Center was better. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is, before I go to bed, I may have to stay up. Because I do want to get most of my braids done before I put my nails back on. Tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to a, it's a paint and praise night at um at church for women. And I already bought the ticket. I definitely want to go. I don't care what's going on. If I have to pop a Benadryl again and be drowsy at church, at least I'll be at church. I don't know if y'all can see it on my face. The little welts. I haven't broke out with regular bumps on my face like this for a long time. But yeah. You probably can't see it. Wait, Mr. Baby. Probably can't see it because this light is on. I'm still itching as you can see. Um I don't know if y'all can tell. 
whatever. I don't I don't want to strain to do all that, but I do have little bitty wilts or whatever on my face. They kind of look like regular bump breakout, but and it's been red and it's been itchy everywhere, and I can't deal with it. So I'm gonna have to take a little something else so I can be able to sleep. Um, I don't know. I just this this is crazy to me. Because I'm thinking, let me go ahead and eat around it. And maybe I'll be able, because I just really wanted the broth. It's cold outside. I wasn't feeling good. I was kind of ovulating a little bit. And I'm thinking, maybe the broth would kind of help me or whatever the gravy is in the chayote or whatever will help me. Nope. That thing said, yeah, you're about to have an allergic reaction, okay? Just letting you know. <laughs> so, my sister got some medicine for me. So, hopefully, she'll bring it like that soon as she can in the morning um i know she does have to get the kids ready for work and i mean for school and stuff Ooh we she have to see my um nephew off when he get on the bus i go to school i can't wait i can um if this persists i'm gonna have to try to see if i can get a doctor's note tomorrow um, I'm going to talk to the advice nurse. I'm going to see because I did talk to the advice nurse. I forgot to ask though for a, um, for a, I don't know if they will give an excuse talking to the doctors over the phone. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of the breakout right here. You know, if y'all can tell. It was all up here this morning and it was all on my neck. It's like it was spreading. Can y'all tell when it's red, where it's red at? Yeah, it was, it was not trying to be rated me, but hold on now. I'm just trying to show y'all my little hives. Yeah, but it's all over right here. And um, it's on my back, like all right here. It's like a trail of it. It is not, it does not feel good to itch in certain places, especially in between your fingers and your toes and on your toes and on your fingers. It's like a unbearable itch. My ears be itching. I have to take off some of my earrings so I can really scratch like, oh, oh, oh. it's horrible. No lagustos at all whatsoever. I may be pulling a late nighter. It's like I'm not really sick sick. But it's just going through some unbearable itching right now. And I have to, like I said, I have to take me something to deal with it. Okay? Don't judge. Do not. Okay? <laughs> Baby, I have to do what I have to do. So I can, because I'll be crying right now. I'll be running hot and cold water on me. I'll be putting ice all on me. It'll be horrible. Like, I've had a breakout because of squash before. Back in 2016, I told myself, okay, now you know what you're allergic to? Don't eat it. But I thought I was slick eating around the squash and zucchini. But that thing said no. Those hives said, we're on our way. And it's like they were tormenting me all day at work. And then when I took that Benadryl, I'll be talking again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest tonight as much as I can. Um, if this thing still persists, I'm going to have to talk to the advice nurse again and say, um, well, first I want to see if I can take the medicine my sister has. And if it persists, I'll definitely talk to somebody. But I would rather right now, I would rather um, see if I can get a note um, for missing work for tomorrow. They probably won't be able to give me one today because I didn't ask for one for today. But if I miss tomorrow, I definitely want to see if I can get a, some kind of doctor's note. Hopefully they can send some something over the phone so that way I'll be able to, um, you know, I should have mentioned that I missed work because I'm not trying to go through all this unbearable itching. I was at work for about almost three hours and I left close, I think close to eight o'clock, came home at eight o'clock before nine. And what I should have did was when I talked to the advice nurse, I should have told the nurse, I was at work today and I had to go home early because it got worse. So, and maybe that way they would have probably wrote me a note or something and I would have been able to send that in. And then, you know, cause I had to send it into HR and to my boss and to the administration. So that way they can know why I'm out. And, but the good thing about it is I went to work today and I cleaned everything so that way, none of the teachers or the administrative staff came in to a dirty school. What you think? <laughs> right? 
Even the cafeteria area was clean. Because I'm trying to make sure I take care of most of that stuff before I sit down and, you know, on my breaks and stuff. I like to make sure. Sometimes I work through my breaks and my lunch to make sure things are done. And then I just use the extra 30 minutes at the end to just sit down until it's time for me to get off. Because I already did it. <laughs> I work during my lunches. And they say don't work during your lunches because if you get hurt, it's on you. I get it. So I'm going to stop doing that. But... I hope you people understand why I had to try to get my work done done so things won't look that dirty and be out of hand when I leave and hopefully somebody will help me out when I'm gone. We got one more week which is next week and then we're going to be off for two weeks. I only have one week of school off but I'll be off. But anyway y'all I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to try to see if I can work on some more of my hair if the itching starts. Like I said I'm going to tell you something. And, um, I'm going to try to go to bed with that. Still itching. <laughs> this is so crazy.